Daniel, well, it was a simple request that turned into 30 years of work that work connecting families from all over St. Landry Parish, the common denominator farming. Well, this morning, a lady from the lady whose research is bringing people together, discussing the past and how the past can help shape our future. Marie Marcel has spent the last three decades buried in archives. It's a great honor to be able to for me to be able to be here to tell their story based on their depositions and testimonies that they've given over the years. Growing up in Leonville, Marie says farming was a way of life. Our clothing, cotton was king. Corn fed the animals, also fed us, you know, and not only did it feed us, but as little girls coming up, we would take the corn, pull down the shuck, and the corn had silk hair. That was a doll for us. Marie says one day a cousin asked her a simple question. One she couldn't answer, one she found no one could answer. My siblings wanting to know about my grandmother. What was grandma's name? And I'm like, I don't know. And he would say, well, uh, so I said, well, didn't you all live with grandma? Yes. I said, so what was grandma's name? We don't know. Did you Have you found out grandma's name? Day in and day out, Marie says that she would find herself at the St. Landry Parish Courthouse buried in records, trying to connect the dots, looking for one name. I looked up my grandfather's name because I knew his name. So when I looked up grandpa's name, I found grandma's name. And if I tell you, I shedded tears all over that archive. It was just like a new world. I was into a new world because now I know my grandmother's name and I'm able to share with my brothers and sisters, uh, our grandma. Little did she know that name would open up a whole other world for her, leading her down the path she's on today. I need to connect my grandmother to every family in Leonville. And from that point, it just went on and on and on. I was just, okay, I was hooked. I could not sit the information down. I just kept reviewing the information. And then I went to start going to the federal census. And by us being Catholics, I wound up going into the Catholic records. Mm -hmm. So all that come into play. While Marie's journey has taken her down many paths, all led back to one place, St. Landry Parish, and the people who helped to build it. So today, brown bags at the Opelousas Museum and Interpretive Center. Now, this will be a series of presentations made over the next few weeks. This week is full, but you can uh, call the museum to schedule a spot for next week. And you're going to hear stories from Miss Marie and then also local farmers in St. Landry Parish. Um, and Daniel, you know, we did the story on farmers in St. Landry Parish a few weeks ago. Miss Marie was a big, big part of that. I mean, 30 years, that's a long time. Yeah, and it's amazing too when you, when you start pulling at that little thread. You know, you, mm -hmm. you start looking at, at family history and, and local history and you start pulling that thread and then seeing all the stories that unravel from you know just the the little in right. investigation and those connections mm -hmm. and I love that they didn't know the name of their grandma and I always say that because growing up my great-grandma was old grandma we yeah. didn't know her name that was her name you know and so I can see where they wouldn't know yeah I, so I, I've done the same thing too where I've I've had to stop and think about what my grandparents actual names mm -hmm. were and then, the fact, granny, then, then you can like connect them to people who mm -hmm. did so many great things like that is such an eye opener. Yeah, that's a cool story. Really, yeah. really good story.